one of the most essential life-sustaining processes involving physical and chemical changes in our body is digestion. It enables our body to absorb the nutrients present in the food we eat. The discovery of fire by our ancestors was a major step in the development of civilization. Many chemical changes were made possible by the use of fire or heat. In addition to fire, we rely on the complex chemical change involved in the ripening of fruits and crops. Without this type of change, we would suffer from a serious food shortage. We have also come to depend on an array of plastic products that are nearly as vital as food is to our comfort and survival. Through the chemical change that transforms raw petroleum materials into plastic, we have life-saving medical equipment, sports accessories, contact lenses, and many other modern necessities. So far, we have shown you all the benefits of physical and chemical changes. But your students might ask, are there any negative aspects to these processes? If change is not managed properly, it can create serious environmental problems. Here are some striking examples. Loggers cut down trees for lumber and paper products. If they take too many trees, rainwater washes the soil out of the forest and into rivers and seas. Floods occur in the lowlands and eventually the rivers become shallow. Moreover, the soil deposits destroy the corals in the sea where the young fish grow. When the fish population is threatened, we risk losing one of our main food sources. Another example is that of pollution. Every day, we burn gasoline and diesel oil in our cars, jeeps, and buses. We burn the same fuels in factories. The pollution from these burning fuels often causes people to suffer from respiratory diseases. Pollutants also accumulate in the air, preventing heat from the Earth's surface to escape to the atmosphere. We are now experiencing the phenomenon called global warming.